Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, the reason we came by was for our lunch at the world famous Din Tai Fo. You see it right here. This is the original location. Uh, this is an average wait. You see everybody here. Uh, even though there's a famous person here, it's always a long wait. Currently, currently it's an 80 minute wait. We uh, picked up our, uh, put in our name over an hour and a half ago. We still have about 15 more minutes to wait. Somebody from Korea. Uh, Korea. Somebody from Korea. So we got a famous Korean personality. So apparently the guy's the actor, his name's Lee Ja Wook. So apparently he's famous, he's here eating uh, with us today. Maybe we'll get seated next to him. I doubt it, but maybe. All right, we'll come on. Here's where they make the dumplings. It takes up to two years of apprenticeship to learn how to make the dumplings. Ah. Now the reason people wait 80 minutes or more, and they are world famous for their shower ball, which is a soupy dumpling. Uh, there's so much fat in the dumpling when they steam it, it actually creates soup inside the dumpling itself. Uh, the good thing about waiting in line so long, you get the place you order. Uh, in advance, so basically as soon as they start bringing you upstairs, they start preparing your food, so it should be out here pretty quickly, and uh, we'll show you, uh, there is a special way to eat them, so they actually have a little instructions, so what you do is, you grab your shallow bun, first you make up your sauce, uh, people do like it with the ginger, I don't, but you use uh, three parts vinegar, one part soy sauce, so three parts of the vinegar, one part of the soy sauce, and what you do is you grab your dumpling, you dunk it in the sauce, and you're going to put it in the spoon here, you can see, you're going to put it in the spoon here, it's nice for it to go ahead and put a little vent hole in it and let it cool off, and once it cools off, you eat the whole thing with the soup, the ginger, and the dumpling. Ah, here we go. And here comes the star of the show. Pork shalom ball. What do you do? You grab the dumpling. You dunk it in the sauce. Put it in the spoon. Put a little hole <coughs> so it cool off. And you definitely gotta let them cool off when they first come out because they are scorching hot. So, you have it here. If you like the ginger, you'd have a little bit of ginger go with it as well. And then when you're ready, you just take the whole thing. It's perfect. I already finished the first order of 10, and now I'm on my second order of 10. These are going to be steaming hot. They really know how to serve them, so they don't bring them out until you're ready. So make sure uh, they don't cool off, because they definitely taste best when they're, when they're hot. I'm going to get some of the liquid out of this one, so you guys can kind of see it a little bit more. You can see the liquid there. That's the soupy part of the dumpling. Really, really good. The flavoring is very intense. Uh, it's mild, but very, very good. What makes these Shaolin balls so famous is the curls on the top, you see how on there? I believe there's either 17 or 21 of these curls. You see here? And the wrapper itself, it's hard to see. It's very, very thin and delicate uh, compared to some of the other brands. And that's why they're known as the best Shaolin balls uh, 
in the world. They're just absolutely delicious. See, see if we can get a picture of the folds here. Each one has exactly 17. Woo! Sorry about that. 17 or 21 folds. That's why it takes up to two years to learn how to make them because they're always perfect. Never uh, out of order, never mutated in any way. None of those make it into production. One of the other specialties is the uh, leek and pork dumplings. They are very good. They're just not as good as their shallow ball, which I just love. Up next is a little local down the scene called Bill Down. It's a nice leafy green vegetable. Very, very good. Very tender, cooked with garlic, stir fried real quick. Make sure you watch to the end because we got a special treat uh, at the end of the video on one of their specialty desserts. So make sure you hang around and watch that. They're also known for their hot and sour soup. It's one of my wife's favorites. They also have a very good chicken noodle type of dish, soup. So here's the sweet and sour soup. My wife says it's definitely the best she's ever had. She waits all year to come get it. So you definitely want to try it out as well. It actually is good. It's a little spicy. <laughs> so there you go. We'll see what we got. Actually, in the room behind us, we have that famous movie star that we caught earlier. Uh, we'll try to catch them on the way out. Maybe we'll jump out paparazzi style when they open the door here. But I want to make sure I eat all my food first before they kick us out. All right, I promised you if you waited to the end, you get a little surprise. These are their famous chocolate shallow ball. Let's see what we got. You can see they're really squishy and dewy. It's like liquid chocolate inside. Really, really good, but really, really hot. Well, that brings us to the end of this part of the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Tim Tuck Foam. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, give us a thumbs up, and share with your friends. Have a great day.